What is up, everybody? Video live stream the content plans for 2017 last night, and oh man, it is a lot. So let's go through it. We're going to start with the quick too long didn't read, and then we're going to watch the live stream. All right, and to start off, the new content preview was the introduction of a new boss. Now, this new boss came with a little bit of backstory that I'm not going to get into. However, what you're going to need to fight this boss is a boat, uh, some cannons, and a skilled navigator because the boss is located in the middle of the ocean. However, they are introducing a new boat to go along with this boss fight. This new boat has two cannons on each side for a total of four and is used for combat only. They also introduced a new game mode similar to Red Battlefield, only in this game mode, you are faced against an onslaught of mobs with limited resources. Each mob kill will give you some resources. These resources are then used to build siege weapons. At the end of a set time, the winner is the person who withstood the most amount of mobs. There will also be changes to the Black Spirit Adventure game. The dice game will be changing to a strategy board game that allows for rewards based on challenges. These challenges will vary. Node Wars will be getting a new military system added to it. Qualified players will be able to apply for this new military system and will be able to attack or defend if approved. You will not know nicknames or guild names of other players a part of the system. The military mode will be active for up to two hours after Node Wars is done, at which point you will be auto-kicked. Node Wars will still be for high-level players with a good weapon. They are, however, testing out a Node Wars system for low-level players. The guild system will also be getting a rework, though not much is known at this time. What we do know is that there will be a new invite system with better controls, a new UI with new guild skills, and a better guild community. After apologizing multiple times, they announced that there will be reworking classes with the ultimate goal of achieving balance. These changes will also include PvP changes and will not be introduced all at once. Camel Surveyor Part 2 was also announced today, introducing three new areas for 53 through 55, 55 through 57, and level 60. They will be introducing two new modes of transportation to the game. First is the Ney, the next is an airboat. The Ney is a horse with a horn that heals and has a charge skill that deals big damage in combat. The airship is the first flying mount in Black Desert. It does not move quickly and is not meant for fast traveling. However, it does give you the first overhead view of Black Desert online. They will also be introducing a new life skill called climbing. Life skill will start with the ability just to climb minor walls, and by the time you are Guru, will be able to climb mount. They also sneak peek two classes. One is the Striker. He's a bare hands mixed martial artist. And the other sneak peek was that an unstarted, unnamed class that all they really know is what kind of weapon she's going to use. All right, and that's going to wrap up the TLDR section. I did not cover everything, however, I did get the majority of it. Stay tuned to see the new Striker trailer. Leave a like if you enjoyed the content. Subscribe for more, and we'll see you next time.